But here we go again, a review of Mark Panapinto's campaign accounts. Find that he used donations to pay for his legal defense. And the tab might still be running after he pled guilty to a misdemeanor in federal court yesterday. Steve Brown reports on the now familiar cycle of scandal, campaign cash, repeat. We've seen this before. Mark Panapinto, the latest in a long line of state elected officials, now criminally convicted. You know what else we've seen before? An elected official using campaign funds for a criminal defense. We'll show you what we mean, but first let's go back to that news conference March 2016 when Panapinto surprised everyone by announcing he wasn't running for re-election. There's a personnel matter which is confidential which I can't discuss, but there is presently no ethics investigation. When Panapinto made that announcement, he already knew he was in trouble. According to the federal plea agreement months earlier, he had made a series of unwanted verbal and physical sexual advances to a female staffer and made attempts to buy her silence with money and or a job. Shortly after that, Panapinto's campaign fund started cutting checks to the Albany law firm of Greenberg Torig. Our math finds over a 10 month period, the firm collected almost 13 grand of Panapinto's campaign cash. Then famed Buffalo defense attorney Terry Connors came on board for Panapinto. Over nine months, the firm got 28,000 plus from Panapinto's political war chest. Connors tells me by phone his firm was paid for a mix of campaign and defense legal work. Next hired, another elite level Buffalo defense attorney, Herbert Greenman. He declined to comment whether he was paid by the Panapinto campaign fund. Records don't show any payment to Greenman, but the next round of campaign finance disclosures is due out next month. Again, we've seen this before. Who remembers? I do. Former state Senator George Maziar spent hundreds of thousands of dollars of his campaign cash fending off a criminal investigation that chased him from office. Ultimately, Maziar's pled guilty to a misdemeanor election law violation. But should campaign donations be used like a criminal defense fund? We talked with Susan Lerner of Common Cause New York about that. This is a legal practice, right? It's absolutely legal under our relatively lax campaign finance laws. But in Lerner's opinion, there is good and not so good campaign spending on lawyers. For instance, a challenge to whether they uh, should be on the ballot, that's something you should use campaign dollars for. But if you're accused of sexual harassment, if you're accused of public corruption, you can still use your campaign money. That's not what your supporters gave you the money for. Now, Lerner says she prefers the federal campaign finance model, a campaign account and a separate legal defense fund. This way, donors would know exactly what they're giving for a campaign or to pay for somebody's legal defense. Scott Mary Ellis. Mm. And Steve, could state elected officials under investigation do that right now? They could if they wanted to, but they already have legal access to what's in their campaign funds, according to the state election law. To force a change, there would have to be a broad campaign and ethics reform movement. And while everybody and their mother who ran for state legislature in 2016 said, let's clean up Albany, ran on that platform two years later, zip. Mm. Seems in this state, ethics reform is where it goes to die. Um, and I worked previously coming here, I worked in Illinois. Right. I mean, it was corruption central there. Right. It is looking a whole lot like that here. So all these donations that everybody was giving him is going to defend him from this nefarious stuff. He can certainly do that. Law says he can do it. Uh, if he's hearing from campaign contributors, we didn't see anything in the records which suggested that he was kicking money back to them. That has to be reported. I've heard from some people who have given him donations that they haven't gotten anything back. I know Chris Lee, he was able to give a lot of his funds back years ago. Right, and that's certainly an option for these folks, but he's got a pressing concern legally. That was a pot of money that he could use. He used it. Alrighty, interesting report. Thanks, Steve.